Week 2 action coming at you from Aggie Memorial Stadium as the Minnesota Gophers are playing their first road game of the season here to take on the New Mexico State Aggies. The Gophers coming to this week 1-0 after last week's 18-point fourth quarter comeback and the Aggies come in 0-1 falling to Texas in week 1 45-3. Today's matchup will be played in the rain. We'll see if that has any effect on the game. Week 2 is up next. And week two is underway as Trayvon Colwell leads the New Mexico State offense up for the first possession of the game. Fakes the handoff, goes re-option on first down, finds a little bit of daylight, up to the 40-yard line, taken down for a gain of nine. If there's someone to watch out for from this Aggies offense, it's definitely receiver Austin Franklin. But here's Jeremy Morrison off the handoff, the sweep going outside, he's got 11. And now third down and short, shotgun tight for Colwell. He takes the snap and will throw. Fires quickly to the outside, it's caught by Austin Franklin, 35-30, and he has 11 more. Franklin had six catches for 114 last week, and now Betancourt off the handoff on second down, and he's taken down by Theron Cochran for a loss of four. Third and 14 now for the Aggies. Colwell out of the gun. Here's the snap throw outside to Franklin. It's incomplete, knocked away, and now it's fourth and long. The field goal unit is out, about a 51-yard attempt for Maxwell Johnson. Snap down, kick is up, it's sailing, and off the crossbar, it bounces back, no good. Philip Nelson leads the way for the Gophers offense, threw for four touchdowns last week, three in that fourth quarter. He hands off to Kirkwood off, tackle to the left. Runs quickly for about five yards and then is taken down. Second down and five, two receivers right for Philip Nelson. Here's the snap, Nelson fires to Goodger and he drops the pass in Aggie territory. It'll be third and five. Facing third down, shotgun for Philip Nelson. Three wide, including Andre McDonald. Nelson fakes outside, now has to scramble. Under pressure, and he's taken down from behind, a loss of seven. One possession for each side, and no score here from Aggie Memorial Stadium. Colwell fakes the handoff on first down, now fires long. And leaping, it's Austin Franklin in Gophers territory. 25-yard gain. He ran a great run on the inside of Baltazar and made the play. And now in go for territory, five minutes to go in the first quarter. Colwell back to pass. Slides left, now fires. Open his Moorhead, wide open to the 20. 15 taken down inside the 13 yard line. 26 more. After the false start, it's first and 15. Hand off to Morris, looking for room. Breaks a tackle up the middle, fighting for yards, a gain of 11. And now third down and three from the Gophers seven yard line. Colwell fires to the end zone and just gets rid of it. Through the uprights, it'll be fourth down and three. A much closer field goal attempt this time for Maxwell Johnson as his left foot a kick is up and through three nothing Aggies. New Mexico State strikes first, 3-0 so far in the first quarter as Danelle Kirkwood takes the hand up, up the middle, runs through a defender, a tough gain of five. Second down for the Gophers, twin tight end set. Here's Nelson, back to throw, good coverage and he's under pressure, dropped for a loss, he'll lose six. After the sack, it's third and 11. McDonald the slot right, three wide set for Philip Nelson. He lobs it outside, over the shoulder of Frickty. He makes the catch in Aggie territory. 30, 20 being chased, they won't catch him. Touchdown, Isaac Frickty goes 74 yards to the house. And that was simply a perfect throw by Philip Nelson. Knew his receiver break to the outside and laid it in perfectly. Nelson's fifth touchdown pass on the season gives the Gophers a 7-3 lead. And now first and 10 for Colwell. Outside, picked off by Derek Wells. And this will go for a Minnesota touchdown. 13-3, two plays. And Minnesota has scored two touchdowns. And this time it's a pick six. He wanted the screen quickly to Austin Franklin. And Derek Wells was all over it. Two very quick touchdowns for Minnesota, a 74-yard touchdown pass, and then a pick six on the following play. It's all of a sudden 14-3 as Jeremy Morrison scampers for a gain of 15. Empty backfield shotgun look for Cowell as he throws on second down over the middle. He hooks up with his wide open receiver Brown in the Gophers territory, 17 yards. Second down for Cowell out of the gun, empty backfield again. This time he wants to scramble, but there's Theron Cochran. He won't let him escape. It's a loss of two. It'll be third down and nine. The Gophers had plenty of practice stopping a running quarterback last week against UNLV. And now third down and nine. Colwell's back to throw. He wants to chuck it long to the end zone. Mortez Shabazz knocks it away. Fourth down and nine. We'll see the field goal unit come back on. And here's Maxwell Johnson, his third field goal attempt of the first quarter, and this kick is up, and it is through 14-6 Gophers. 
59 seconds to play in the first quarter as Philip Nelson lines up under center on second down and seven. Now quickly throws outside. It's caught by Isaac Brichty. Nine yards and a first down. And the Gophers did a great job of spreading the ball around last week between Frichty, Crawford Tufts, and McDonald. And now back outside, it's Frichty for an gain of seven. And as I said, they spread the ball around. It seems that Nelson is only spotting up Frichty so far. But now third and six over the middle, and Crawford Tufts was behind Larry Butler, who almost came away with a pick. The Aggies trying to halt this Gophers momentum. It's 14 to six, and Minnesota sends the blitz. Cowell wants to scramble up the middle. He might gain two yards, third down coming up. They need eight. Out of the gun, Cowell back to pass. A four-man rush from the Gophers, and here it is! And they pressure him and drop him for a loss of eight yards. It's Theron Cochran for the second time today. Three down lineman from New Mexico State on first down as Philip Nelson will throw on first and ten. Outside, open is Andre McDonald to the sideline. It's a gain of nine. McDonald had a phenomenal fourth quarter last week, calling in two touchdowns in that comeback. And now here's Kirkwood on second and one. Off tackle, he has some running room. Across the 40, a gain of eight yards. Kirkwood only ran for 63 yards on 18 carries last week. We're seeing a lot more running lanes here early, but now play action for Nelson. Deep over the middle, Isaac Frickty, touchdown Gophers. This time from 38 yards out, Nelson goes long to Frickty, and he cuts inside the safety, and Minnesota's now up 21 to six. And it's been big plays giving Minnesota this 15 point lead. Now first down handoff to Jeremy Morrison running outside. A couple of nice blocks to the 40. At midfield being chased by Derek Wells. 30 and brought down in Gopher territory. Great run by Morrison who could be shaken up. And now inside the 20 yard line. Second and one handoff to Betancourt up the middle. Staying on his feet to the 11 brought down for a gain of six. Third down and five for the Aggies. Colwell hands off to Betancourt. Up the middle, and Damian Wilson shuts him down. It's a two-yard gain, and Damian Wilson just jacked him up. Both teams have scored three times, the difference being the Gophers have scored three touchdowns, and the Aggies have scored three field goals. 21 to nine as Nelson over the middle of the Crawford Tufts first down. Out of the gun this time. Nelson fakes the handoff, he'll keep it up the middle. With some room, he slides the gain of 12. First down, Gophers. In an Aggie territory, just outside of field goal range. Second down and 10, dumped off to Kirkwood, who'll stumble but gain about five yards in the play. They need five yards to convert on third down. Shotgun for Nelson. To throw, over the middle. Cut by Drew Goodger in traffic, 11 yard gain to the tight end. First down. A seven play drive thus far, now a toss outside to Donnell Kirkwood, running to the 15, and he shakes off one defender, runs through another, and he's down to the 12. Third down and two, and Nelson will throw, under pressure quickly, and he's set for a loss of six, it's fourth down and eight. Hawthorne trying to extend the lead before halftime, here's the kick, it's up, it is good, and the Gophers are up 24 to nine, headed into halftime. A couple long Philip Nelson touchdowns and a pick six, and the Gophers are up 15 as we enter halftime. And as both teams adjust for the second half, we're gonna go into a little Minnesota recruiting here for the halftime show. And we'll all be keeping a close eye on this class as it's the first class for head coach Harry Kane Sr. And with Minnesota graduating two of their starting linebackers, both of their starting corners, a safety and a defensive tackle, it'll be interesting to see what they do on the defensive side of recruiting as they have to fill a lot of holes here early. But one of the guys they're targeting very heavily right now is wide receiver Doug Duck out of Maitland, Florida. He's a four-star prospect. It's likely Kane's looking for the very next Eric Decker to take over this offense. On the defensive side though, watch out for John Meyer from Golden Valley, a prospect here from the state of Minnesota. And in this young season, we're already seeing the value of a guy like Rasheed Hageman, and so it's likely Minnesota just wants to keep building that defensive line to be the anchor of this defense. And as the season progresses, we'll have much more news on the recruiting side, but the first half is in the books, Minnesota on top, some big plays led by Isaac Frickty. We'll have the second half kickoff coming your way next. And Minnesota has the ball out of the gate here in the third quarter, 24 to nine, as Philip Nelson hands off to Kirkwood. Up the middle, he'll go straight forward for about a gain of seven. Pretty impressive first half for the Gophers, two touchdown passes by Philip Nelson, he'll throw on second and three. It's Devin Crawford, tufts over the middle. That's 15 yards in the slant. Andre McDonald, the slot left. Kirkwood in the backfield, here's Nelson. Outside of the sideline, McDonald has it, he stays in bounds, 13 yards. Nice play by McDonald, he was the star of last week. And the toss outside to Kirkwood. He's got some running room, a nice gain of eight yards, and now will be second and short. 
Not much getting in the way of this Minnesota offense lately. They're in New Mexico State territory. Hand off to James Gillum up the middle. He goes up for five, and that'll be a first down conversion. Twin tight ends for Nelson. Hand off, it's Kirkwood to the left side off tackle. Good block by Frickty to the 10, five, brought down from behind. First down, Kirkwood inside the five, and it'll be first down and goal. Two receivers left for Nelson as the Gophers are knocking on the door. Nelson fakes the handoff, and now fires, touchdown, Lincoln, Pulsek, touchdown, Gophers as they extend their lead to 30 to nine. Here it is one more time, a play action, and Pulsek got himself wide open. The lead for the Gophers is now at 22 with five and a half to go in the third quarter. Cowell fakes the handoff, here's the keeper. He has the first down and more to the 40. Brought down to the 45 yard line, a gain of 19. And New Mexico State trying to get a little bit of momentum if they can. First and 10 and Cowell wants to run again, but there's Theron Cochran for the third time. He won't let him escape. Three sacks on the day for Cochran as it hasn't been a great day for the New Mexico State offense and Coel on the keeper again and this time Aaron Hill on the backfield wraps him up for a loss of one. Third and 15, a man in motion that was frankly, here's a screen to Morrison and it's once again Aaron Hill, it's a gain of zero. Two minutes and 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's still 31 to nine, Minnesota. Cowell fakes the handoff, goes up the middle, and Rashid Hageman won't let him go anywhere. Excellent day for the Gophers defense thus far. Third down and seven, as Cowell looks to scramble, and Rashid Hageman will put him down for the three yard loss. Sack number one on the season, as he sent Cowell flying on that hit. A little over a minute to go in the third quarter as Minnesota has a very comfortable lead. Nelson fakes the screen and now goes long to McDonald who takes a shot but collects the first down. Minnesota getting it done both on the ground and in the air. They'll go back to the ground on this play as Kirkwood breaks a tackle, spins through another, a gain of eight yards up the middle. 26 seconds to play in the third quarter. High formation for Nelson and he's got his fullback out of the backfield. Mike Henry, that's good for a gain of nine and a Gophers first down. One quarter remains in the game as Minnesota is threatening to add on to their lead. Nelson fires over the middle, a pass is caught by Drew Goodger. 14 yard game for the tight end, first down Minnesota. And now an I-form look as Mike Henry leads the way, it's Kirkwood going right up the gut looking for running room, powering his way a gain of eight yards. Minnesota still in that I formation look as Nelson tosses outside to Danelle Kirkwood. To the five, first down and tackled at the two yard line. First down and goal, James Gillum in the backfield, handoff of the middle, and Gillum breaks the plane of the end zone. Touchdown Minnesota, 37 to nine, as they look to put this game out of reach. 6.48 to play in the football game as Minnesota is up by 29 points on the New Mexico State Aggies. Colwell back to throw on first and 10, and Theron Cochran makes it four times today, and that ties Minnesota's single game record as he was upended and then got the sack. This defense has given Colwell trouble all day. Pistol formation on third and 17 yards to go. They're setting up the screen. It's caught by Morrison, but Botticelli reads it. It's a loss of four yards. Fourth down and 22. And with this lead, Minnesota has entered the second string players. Mitch Leidner in at quarterback. He hands off at James Gillum on second down and medium. And that's a gain of about five yards. Under four minutes to play in the game. Twin tight end set for Leidner as he hands off to Gillum. Nice cut to the outside. 20 to the 15, 10 being chased. Five, touchdown, Gophers. James Gillum from 30 yards out. Double dips into the end zone, his second touchdown on the day. And look at that nice juke to the outside. A very nice move. 45 to nine. The second string defense is now in the game for Minnesota as Morrison takes the handoff and he's caught from behind a loss of one. This defense still playing very well. Third down and 11 yards to go for Trayvon Colwell. In the pocket, he's got to fire it long, and it's intercepted by Derrick Wills. His second interception on the day takes the return into Aggie territory, cuts the 35, and he'll get to it at the 31-yard line. Wells has two interceptions today. It was Travis who had two last week in the victory, and now here is Roderick Williams in the game for the Minnesota offense, going up the middle for a gain of two. The Gophers just trying to run the clock out, third down and seven, and Leidner hands off to Williams, up the middle, and he will go for a Minnesota touchdown, 29 yards this time. 
Minnesota just trying to run out the clock and they score to make it 51 to 9. And that is a perfectly run pump fake draw. Touchdown, Roderick Williams. And after last week's thriller in Minneapolis, Minnesota cruises to a victory here today on the road. The final score is Minnesota 52, New Mexico State 9, as Minnesota allowed three first half field goals, but shut out the Aggies the rest of the way and collects their second victory in dominant fashion. Week two is in the books. Minnesota is victorious. Thank you all for joining this edition of Gophers Football. Next week, we'll be back home in TCF Bank Stadium as the Minnesota Gophers take on the UTSA Roadrunners in week three. That's the third of four non-conference games. And so thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week back in Minnesota.